Hi, everybody. Welcome to the QB School. I am JT O'Sullivan. Today, Trevor Lawrence, the number one pick, everyone's number one pick. Did he play up to his potential? Did he play as well as people predicted him to play? Was he as consistent as he needs to be to thrive on Sundays for a decade plus? We are diving into it. Let's get it going. Welcome to the QB School. This video is a small sample of what will be available over on the Quarterback School Patreon community this week. The full game, Clemson versus Pitt, Trevor Lawrence, far from perfect, really. Uh, misses some opportunities for some big plays, some easy completions where I think people start to wonder, you know, is he quite as consistent as maybe people projected him to be or expect him to be? And I think he really is over the course of the entire game, but certainly some interesting misses to go back and take a look at so if you're interested in that hop over to the quarterback school patreon community for this one we got some really special throws really a lot of drive throws down the field to the wide side really precise delivering the ball down the field exciting to watch think you're going to dig it let's get it going all right trevor lawrence versus Pitt. first one here is going to be a back shoulder fade to the field rpo off the gt we love the ball location of maybe a touch higher. But again, this is to the field, wide hashes, wider throw than he'll ever have to make on Sundays. Throwing a strike. Low strike. But still, you can see it off the GT action. Again, put the ball right on his chest. Again, I, you just don't see back shoulder fades to the field like this very often. It's just, it's one of those things off the, you get the bubble option, you get the fade option. Again, maybe up a little higher, but again, just the, I mean, the borderline, like, audacity probably isn't the right word, but people just usually don't even attempt that throw. Especially off the RPO, he gets hit there, penalty, shows some toughness. Again, they got a great job of packaging their RPOs. Again, not saying that I'm necessarily a fan of doing first-level RPOs, throwing these types of, th of balls, but... If your quarterback can thinks he can get it off, pretty special. Smooth, great rhythm to it, accuracy, driving the ball down the field to the field. Next one here, up top to the number two seam. We'll say, again, driving the ball to the field. Talk a lot about not getting our guys hit. To me, this is a tick late. Now, this game is far from perfect. There are throws that he flat out misses. There are throws that are a tick late. And this is one of them that's a tick late. You know, love the fact that he dovetails a little bit. Probably a hitch too late. And so what I mean by that is when we're out here, and the way that Pitt plays them, if you watch the whole game, you know, they're they're taking a lot of chances by their safety location, what they're asking them to do. But here, reroute, get back into the seam area, for me just could have been a tick earlier when he takes that drop dovetail a little bit hitch 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 reset reset that take one reset out show just a little bit more anticipation to the field seam and this thing's a thing of beauty one two three again look at the base never a heel click loaded nice tackle from the right tackle one two three one two three again you can see it start coming open right it's pretty wild that they're trying to get to middle field close from this look you know you're going to have this the whole way, right? They're spinning 31 all the way back. That's that's too much grass. Just a tick late. Never like seeing you throw your guys into big collisions down the field. But again, big arm to the field. Again, little details here drop-wise. You can tell he's been coached at a really high level. A little dovetail. He's lined up right there. Maybe not quite as much as he would want to be right there, but... Still a little bit open to the left. And then just watching the resets here. Just one reset too many. One, one, two, three, four. But that's still a driver off the tee box right there to the field seam. Next one here, three by one. Again, RPO wheel this time. Again, the accuracy is not obviously exactly where he wants it, but this is... Really, him seeing that he's got the leverage that he wants out to the field. This is a, a run, right? This is an, an RPO. They are running the rock here. He sees the one he wants and throws it. 
He's got someone right in his face. He's got to negotiate that guy. Get it up and down. You can see the quickness of the release, just a flick to space. The guy makes a great play for him too, but this is just a little wheel from the slot. He gets hit with pressure, and they just don't have enough bodies out there to cover this much space of the field. They attack the field out here all game. But I love the quickness of it, the suddenness of the throw. One, one more time, just Trevor's kind of the way that he operates this quick flick, put his foot in the ground, flick it out to space. Guy makes a play for him. Again, attacking teams horizontally and vertically in the RPO world. Now, it helps when you have a guy who can flick it like this to the field without with barely putting his foot in the ground, right? Boom. Quick, sudden, great catch. And there's a lot of that in this game. They are very intentional about where they're attacking. Love this one. This gave me flashbacks for a hot second. I thought this was Hunter Renfro. <laughs> Three by one, glance, bubble. Again, RPO, just way too much space. He puts on an absolute clinic on this RPO glance in this game. Hits a number of them. This is just too much space. So again, just watching the footwork of it, the tempo of it. I mean, absolute precision, technique, fundamentals, base, timing, ball location, accuracy. Look at the footwork. I mean, he's in the, his throwing position while he's riding. No. Just thing of beauty. And just way too much space down here. They're putting their DBs in all sorts of stressful situations all game, asking them to play basically zero quarters out there. But again, Trevor Lawrence right here just dealing from the pocket, driving the ball down the field. Really nice RPO stuff that will translate directly to Sundays. And he's consistently doing it. That's the thing, I think, that the separator for a lot of these things. Halftime, you dig the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications, let you know when we go live, when we put out new content. I certainly appreciate the support for the channel. Do me a favor, like the video also if you enjoy it. And then if you want to see the full thing, hop over to the Quarterback School Patreon community. Let's keep it going. The very next play. This is a fast four and then they throw a go up top or a little back shoulder. Again, accuracy down the field, timing, back shoulder. They throw a number of them. This is kind of a unique way to get to this with the fast four. Pump it, come back, and they're running a one-step fake hitch and go over here. A beautiful ball location, great strong hands from 17. But watch up top, one step, then go, right? They had this on the three by one or four by one, basically trying to play single coverage for the first two quarters, and it was just too much to handle. It's not that it's bad coverage, it's just a better ball. Better hands. You can see the accuracy down the field. Again, up on his face. Great base. Again, look at that thing. Thing of beauty. Again, defender's got his back turned. Yes, please. Love it. Just precision more than anything else in a lot of these deep throws. Come back again. Three by one. This gets called back, but this is an absolute strike. Wheel, again, RPO. They banged a few glances, bang eights. But again, this is an RPO. If he likes the matchup, likes the leverage, you can see he's got to navigate people running at him. Nobody's blocking 32 here. That's a run. you got to get it up and down, and that is a strike to the field. That's like to the corner of the parking lot. Go get open. Watch the wheel up top by the number two. Again, when he lets this thing go, he's throwing it right there. He's already separated. I mean, the guy's not running by him yet. He throws him open. It's a great catch layout. But that is a powerful arm, being able to drive it where you want to drive it, consistently down the field, to the field, meaning the wide side. It's so wider than a throw he'll ever have to make in the league. Absolute. Precision. Again, also loved how much of it was off the RPO world. Same thing right here. Glance up top. This is, again, really impressive technique. Footwork-wise, 
how they're able to get from the run fake, from being able to identify that they want to throw this thing off a run play, to being precise driving the ball down the field. Footwork, base, all his cleats in the ground, and a strike on the body on the break. We'll pause it to just to look at his base here when he flips around. It's much harder to do it this way, where you're opening to your left, then you have to flip around all your cleats in the ground. That's it right there. That, there's nothing easy about this. Off counter to bang a glance. Boom. One more time so you can see at full speed. All his cleats in the ground. Rip field glance. Again, I, I just really impressed by the technique, the precision down the field, the consistency driving the ball. And again, when you watch the full game, it's far from perfect. There are certainly missed opportunities, but there's enough of this to not realize that it's consistent. Then you pair it with really some pretty cool scheme. Right here, this is the, they run this fake toss, almost like bash toss, a bunch, and oftentimes Trevor will run it. And I didn't put any of him running in this video, but he runs a few great runs, uses his legs really strategically. But right here, this is a great scheme. This is off that fake toss, a little wheel to the number three out of formation into the boundary, FIB, three by one. You can see right here, this tight end, he's going to run a wheel. Now, they do this action to me where you're faking toss here. Getting in here, he's faking toss here. So we're not blocking this player usually. And usually it's tethered with some sort of counter back the other way. Well, right here, they run up here, basically run double post clear, and they run a wheel. I put it in here because I also love the touch. Trevor Lawrence has all the clubs in the bag. This is a beautiful touch throw, up and over. Again, it's a great design. It's better designed than anything else, but the touch, pretty nice here. Into the boundary, up and over, right in stride. Give your guy a shot to go score, stay in bounds. It looks like a touchdown, but they mark him out on the five. Again, from the back end, you can really see the touch here. We're faking it, read 91. We're not really reading 91 here. In a normal, when they do this, they're reading the defensive end. Right here, flip. Just right on him. I mean, feather it in there. Full speed, just so you see the touch. Thing of beauty. Give it to your playmakers in space, going downhill towards the end zone. Love it. So that is a wrap. Trevor Lawrence versus Pitt. Really some special throws. Driving the ball down the field. Got great technique within the pocket. Certainly not perfect by any means, but impressive nonetheless on a number of different levels. I just can't get over how much they ask him to do down the field, to the field, and he's able to do it consistently. Lots of stuff to be excited. If you are a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, uh, let me know what you thought of the video. I will see you next time. Have a good one.